Details in the search for Allison Castro. Crews spent today searching Beaver Lake for evidence related to her disappearance. Police believe the Fayetteville woman reported missing last week is dead. Castro's suspected killer is in jail without bond tonight as investigators continue looking for her body. Crews have now wrapped up for the day and will continue searching Beaver Lake tomorrow. 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker joins us live from Beaver Lake with the latest. Catherine. The Benton County dive team left here around four this afternoon after a full day of searching. Their focus was behind me underneath the Highway 12 bridge near the shore. Now police say they are looking for any and all evidence in the alleged murder of Allison Castro. This has been a big effort on the water, on the ground, and even in the air. Benton County's helicopter flew overhead today, and the mobile command center was also on scene. Five News has learned the case is sealed, so details are few and far between. The Fayetteville Police Department is leading this investigation and won't even say what led to the search at Beaver Lake. But a department spokesman tells us investigators believe there is evidence here at the lake, and they asked for Benton County's help. There's lots of lots of potential evidence in this case, you know, so we do know that um, we have not recovered Miss Castro, um, but there is other evidence in this case that that our investigators are looking for. This is a very uh, important case and we wouldn't want to divulge any information that would compromise the integrity of the case. Now Casey Jennings was arrested yesterday on capital murder charges. Police tell us Jennings had previously dated Castro and they even live together. Now we're being told that search crews will be out here again in the morning. I'm live at Beaver Lake covering news where you live. Catherine Gilker, 5 News. Catherine, thanks. Here is a look at the suspect that was arrested by Fayetteville.